or regret an uncomfortable feeling that someone is so having. So if someone is projecting their stuff onto others, through that then feeling, they're I was not never taught those things. So well, you know what feeling is just energy and the energy can't. Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining me this week. So in this week's video, I wanted to kind of keep going with emotional abuse and I wanted to dive into projection and kind of teach you what projection is, how to know when someone is actually projecting their own stuff onto you, and go over positive projection. So when we project our own fantasies, our own wants onto someone else. So I also apologize for my voice. I've been a little sick this past week, so my voice is a little hoarse, so just forgive me and bear with me. But let's get right into this week's video. So let's start at the beginning with what is projection. Projection is when someone has a feeling of, you know, maybe guilt or shame or regret, an uncomfortable feeling that someone is having, and because they don't know how to deal with that feeling, they need to project that feeling onto someone else. So the reason why people do this, number one, it's done on an unconscious level. So if someone is projecting their stuff onto others, then they're not consciously aware of it. So they're not aware, oh my God, I'm having an uncomfortable feeling and I don't know what to do. I don't know how to parent myself or love myself through that feeling. I was never taught those things. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna give it to someone else. They're not consciously aware that they're doing that. They just know that they have something in themselves, a feeling that they don't wanna acknowledge or deal with. And because they don't have the strength or the courage or the knowledge to really know how to process their own feelings, they're going to take those negative feelings and put them onto someone else. So a feeling is just energy, and the energy can't stay inside of us, it has to come out. So if we have an uncomfortable feeling that we don't want to experience and we're suppressing it, there's only so much suppression we can do before it comes out in other ways. So either it comes out in anxiety or panic or depression or addiction, um, of many kinds or, or projection, you know, these are just the projection is just another way of kind of releasing the pressure off of oneself, um, in order to make themselves feel better with projection. Someone really just feels ashamed for what they're feeling inside. They don't know how to deal with what they're feeling. You know, most of us were not taught this stuff. We weren't taught the healthy mechanisms and ways to deal and process our feelings. We were never taught how to master our emotions. And this is just basic stuff that all children should be taught how to do. But if your parents didn't know how to do it for themselves, then they wouldn't be able to teach you. And again, this is no one's fault, it's just a lack of knowledge and self-awareness. So really what, what happens with projection, and again, it's done un unconsciously, is I'm having a feeling that I don't want to experience because I'm afraid to feel it. And that's something that I always found you know, shocking why we as human beings are so scared of our feelings. Like we just don't want to feel them. And there's, it's just a feeling and a feeling comes and a feeling goes. And as long as you learn how to love yourself, how to parent yourself through a feeling, and this is what, you know, I'm definitely teaching on this channel and I'll go into further detail in videos to come is how to deal with what we're feeling, how to parent ourselves, how to love ourselves through what we're feeling. And as long as you know how to do that stuff, you can feel any feeling because you're not gonna die from having a feeling. It's just a feeling. And like I said, a feeling will come and a feeling will go. When a feeling doesn't go is when you don't know how to love yourself and take care of yourself through that feeling. You don't know how to coach yourself through that feeling. And so the feeling kind of stays stuck because you're listening to that negative ego, that negative part of yourself that's playing that worry feeling, that guilt, that shame, that regret, all of those negative feelings is what our ego just keeps playing over and over again. And because you're listening to that tape and you don't know how to shut the tape off or change the tape, the feeling just kind of stays within us. And when we no longer want to keep listening to that tape and experiencing those feelings, we will get rid of that feeling in different ways. And like I said, that's with addiction and, and other things. Um, 
but or projection. So really projection is just when someone essentially is attacking you. So if you feel someone's coming at you with a lot of anger, with a lot of um, you know pointing of the finger and just attacking you, that's because they don't want to sit in their own feelings. And again, this is a very broad topic. So it could the feeling that this person is experiencing could be a ton of different things, but because they don't know how to deal with it, they need to put it on someone else and so they want to put it on you so they're going to attack you they're going to blame you they're going to shame you they're going to make you feel guilty and all of these things in order to take that feeling that's within them within their their own selves and give it to someone else so and this is why narcissists are famous for this stuff because essentially what it means is the person doesn't want to take responsibility or accountability for their own feelings, for their own behavior. So like I said, really anyone can project their stuff onto you. So if I did something wrong in the relationship and I don't want to take accountability or responsibility, if I feel shame and maybe a little bit of guilt for what I did and I don't want to acknowledge any of that, I'm going to blame you and I'm going to make you the reason why I did what I did. So there, that's projection right there. Another form of projection is for example, if I wanted to go back to school or if I wanted to start a new business or you know, if I wanted to just do something that took a lot of courage and strength and you voice that to say a friend or a parent or whoever and they immediately start giving you all the reasons why it's not gonna work out. They're essentially projecting their own fears and insecurities and possibly reasons why they didn't want to do something with their lives and take that step onto you. So they don't want to feel maybe the guilt or the shame themselves that they didn't take that step in life and they didn't go after that job they really wanted to or you know have the courage to leave a great job and start something that you know might be difficult but it's something that I really enjoy doing and it's my passion maybe they didn't have the courage to do that in their life or go back to school or whatever the situation is and because they have that shame and maybe that guilt inside for their own stuff and their own life they're gonna project that onto you and they're gonna make you feel they're gonna give you all of their worries fears and doubts that they played in their mind when they were possibly thinking of doing the same thing so projection is it's a tricky thing it's not something that's really black and white and it can be experienced in a ton of different ways and like i said a narcissist definitely loves projection it's it's aside from manipulation i think projection is just they just are cousins to a narcissist narcissists absolutely love to project because they don't want to take any accountability or responsibility for their own actions and they can't look at themselves as anything other than perfect. So it's always someone else's fault why things have happened. They're gonna shame you, they're gonna guilt you, they're gonna make you, they're gonna give you all of the things that they are essentially feeling inside. And if you haven't learned how to love yourself, if you don't have a healthy sense of self, if you don't know how to master your emotions, then every time someone projects their stuff onto you, you're gonna get defensive, you're gonna argue back, you're gonna wanna tell this person who you are and you know, defend yourself like all day long to this person about how you know, you're know you not this and you're not that and all of these things. You're gonna get so wrapped up in this conversation because you haven't learned what projection is and you don't even realize that what someone is doing has nothing to do with you. You're taking everything personally because you haven't learned these tactics that emotionally abusive people will use on their victims. So how do you know when someone is actually projecting? One of the quickest ways you can know is projection always comes with anger. So like I said earlier, when someone gets very aggressive with you and angry with you and you feel like they're kind of pointing the finger and blaming you um, and it's done in, in an aggressive way, Take a look, take a step back and look at the whole scenario that you're in right now and see, is this person projecting? Because nine times out of 10, they usually are. You know, if someone hurts your feelings or if you feel a certain way and you wanna offer that information to someone else, that's not projection because most likely you're not coming with anger and blame and pointing of the finger. You are gonna take responsibility for your part in a situation and you're also gonna tell the other person what you think and how you feel and you do it in a calm way. You've mastered your emotions and there's no anger involved because you're just communicating. 
when someone comes at you very aggressively, you always, number one, need to learn how to master your emotions. That's number one. And number two, again, take a step back and look at the whole situation. And, you know, it's always good to understand the person that you're dealing with. And I'm sure that they are projecting their stuff onto you. So for a narcissist, one of the things that they love to say is, you know, you're crazy, you're selfish, everything is about you, you're always so judgmental, you're always nitpicking, just these small little phrases, which are basically just little flicks to kind of, you know, get the attention off of them and turn it on to you. And again, if you're not healthy and you don't know how to hold on to yourself and you don't have a healthy sense of self, then you're gonna get wrapped up in that conversation and you're gonna take on that person's projection. And that's the worst thing that you can do. Number one, you have to learn when someone's projecting and number two, you have to learn how to handle a projection because really what a person is trying to do is they're trying to relieve the pressure and the uncomfortable feelings that they're having. They're trying to force that energy to go somewhere else and that's why they're projecting it onto someone else in hopes that that person will take it from them. So it'll relieve a little bit of pressure off themselves and they'll feel better. And that's really what someone's doing. So when you get involved in the conversation and you get angry and you start defending and all of these things, then you're ass they're essentially projecting onto you and you're taking it. And so the energy now is transferred. But when you really hold on to yourself and you don't get involved in any of that and you just treat the person kind of like you would a toddler in that I'm actually not crazy and now you're becoming abusive and I'm no longer engaging in this conversation. When you want to calm down, we can speak like healthy adults and then you kind of disengage from it or you realize or you even tell the person, you know, I really don't believe what you have to say and that has nothing to do with me. I think that's your own stuff and then just walk away. It's so important to stay calm when you're dealing with an emotionally abusive person and it's not easy it's definitely not but the more you practice this stuff the more you learn you know all of these different types of tactics that abusive people and narcissistic people will use on their victims or really just anyone then it becomes easier and that is self-loving and that's self-empowering and that is you really learning how to take care of yourself so what do you do when someone actually is projecting their stuff onto you? And I kind of just went over this briefly, you know, not, not getting involved in these conversations and not taking on that projection, not defending, not getting angry, not over explaining any of those things. But the other thing is, and this is really important because it's especially true if someone is projecting their stuff onto you and that person is someone that you really love and care for. And it's really hurtful when you know someone is projecting their stuff, and even if you kind of called them out on it, they probably wouldn't still even be able to acknowledge it, number one. But the most important thing also is you really need to love yourself through that process. It's really hurtful when you're trying to just be honest and vulnerable with someone and they just don't want to hear it. And a lot of people can't hear it because they don't want to open that window. You know, not there, there are just some people that just really can't go there and they can't consciously, you know, they can't be, they're not mindful and they're not aware of their thoughts and feelings and they don't want to own their thoughts and feelings. Like they just want to live on autopilot, the same stuff over and over again, the same unhealthy behaviors. And they're not the type of person that really want to learn how to challenge themselves and grow and become a better human being. They're just really happy with where they are and what they're doing. So, and that kind of stinks, especially when it's someone that we really love and they're getting angry and nitpicking and attacking us. And you have to be able to really love yourself and know that whatever that person's doing or saying, it has nothing to do with you. And that is so, so helpful. It's helpful in emotionally abusive relationships, it's helpful in narcissistic abusive, um, narcissistic relationships, just to understand that what someone is doing has nothing to do with you. And again, this doesn't mean that it doesn't hurt and that it's not hurtful, but it just helps to take your own ego out of it and it helps to take a little bit of that sting away. And when you really accept that concept and know that that, that just is the reality, it actually is, 
easier for you to start managing your um, mastering your emotions and managing your emotions because when you take things so personally and you think something really is about you then it's easy to get emotionally involved in that but when you know it really has nothing to do with you and you know how to love yourself it's easier to kind of pull that you know get that wall up and have all of that projection and abuse just deflect off and you'll learn how to stand up for yourself and you'll learn how to you know set boundaries and know how to enforce them because you love yourself and you come first so the other thing that I wanted to go over was positive projection and this is something that I know I've done before <laughs> and if you are a codependent you definitely do this and I see this more so with women because we are a more emotional at times and this is especially the case when people are out there dating so if I'm out there dating and you know I'm just feeling insecure or I'm doubting the process or I'm really lonely and I'm eager to get into a relationship and I feel like that you know being in a relationship is just going to fill me up inside and I haven't learned how to do that for myself then you know when times get tough and no one's really coming and all of a sudden we meet someone and they seem to have a lot of what we're looking for but there are these other things that they don't have it's very easy to project our own desires our own wants our own fantasies onto someone else so if we're looking for you know a great girlfriend or a great wife and this person seems to have some of it but they're showing us red flags that they're not really a family man and that she probably wouldn't be the mother that I would want for my children or you know again whatever then but we're insecure and we're lonely and we are starting to doubt the process and we don't trust the universe then we're going to project we're going to you know project everything we want onto this person without them even proving themselves and I see this so so often you know a couple months into a relationship and we have just you know I have clients and I know people and I've done it myself where you just project everything you want onto this person because everything is so amazing and we want to believe that everyone is a good person and everyone has the same you know values as me and you know wants the same things as me and that's really just not the case you really just have to go into every relationship whether that's romantic friendship anything with your eyes wide open and just being not necessarily a realist or a pessimist not thinking that everyone is good or everyone is bad it's not that black and white it's just saying I don't know you at all and I love myself to know that I deserve to get to know you first to see who you actually are that's so important so if you're getting to a certain age and or you feel like maybe I should be married or I should be in a relationship or I need to be having kids and you just rush all of this stuff and you don't give yourself time to really let a person show you who they are and again like Maya Angelou says when someone shows you who they are believe them then you're always going to project whatever it is that you want onto other people so I hope that this video has helped you guys understand projection a little bit better I hope that it has helped you to know how to deal when someone actually is projecting their own stuff onto you it's so so important to know when someone's projecting and it's important to know how to handle it and also how to deal with positively projecting our stuff onto other people so I again I hope this video has helped you guys out there please give it a thumbs up if you like it leave any comments down below I love reading all of your comments and questions and I will see you next week